So we just had our first night here in Yosemite National Park. We are staying in a place called Curry Village and this is my tent just back here that I slept in last night. I actually had the best night's sleep I've had so far on the trip. Every other night I've struggled like mad to get to sleep but last night I slept super sound in there. Uh, the only slight thing in the back of my mind was the worry of the bears. That's when we got here we were told that bears are very active in this area and essentially we're just given a big, big talking to about storing zero food no deodorant sun cream anything like that in our tent um, just to keep the bears away and we have to keep them in this kind of metal storage container that's outside so i felt very comfortable and happy here last night and i personally am looking forward to having another night here i know some of the other girls slept really bad and didn't have um, a good night's sleep so lots of riding lots of hanging out lots of nature here for it today so if you're wondering why this episode is so short it's because i only really expected to make three videos of this trip so part three is kind of a bonus episode of our day hanging out in yosemite park so after getting breakfast in the village we went for a ride and parked up so we could relax have a picnic and take a dip in the river <laughs> Where? Where are all the spiders? Let me see. You see everything that's moving. Look at. They all walk. Oh yeah.
After a quick chat with the Harley rider and a quick push for Jasmine, we got back on the road. Once we got back to Curry Village, we had a quick freshen up before heading out again for some more riding. As by then it was golden hour time, so Carolina hopped on the back with Jasmine and Sophie jumped on the back with me so we could film some rolling shots through the park. It was just a perfect setting as the speed limit is really low around the valley, so it was super relaxed and fun taking each other as pillions. Me and Sophie were just in hysterics. There's something so great I think about taking a friend as a pillion. Probably because I don't get to do it very often. Aya, 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 are you? Are you?
decided that night we'd go out and take a walk to Yosemite Village to get some dinner and drinks, which was just a little over two miles away from where we were staying. At some point on the way, we got lost and the mood just quickly changed to feeling this sudden sense of worry. But after an hour and a half, we did finally find it, only for the bar to be temporarily closed. We go to check out the restaurant and it was just super expensive. So we decided to ditch that idea and get a bus home to avoid another scary walk in the dark. My phone was completely out of charge by that point. So I had the opportunity to look up at the Yosemite night sky for an hour. And of course it arrived just as Jasmine and Sophie had gone back in to ask where it was. But they ran back just in time for us to be told that this bus was done for the night and to wait for another one. Two buses and a scary guy later, we did eventually make it back to Curry Village with 10 minutes to spare to get some food and got treated to the best tasting pizza and beer of my entire life. And even though we got kicked out of the restaurant halfway through eating as it had closed, it was still the best meal of the trip, hands down for me. Anyway, that's it for part three. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for my last episode of my California series, which will hopefully be coming next week.